How are we doing? It's the Saints man, small van driver, doing it outside on the decking. It's Sunday night and it's about eight o'clock. It's been a hectic weekend. Saints, 90 points yesterday on Gloucester. So we're a little bit fragile. Last week, <coughs> four day week, bank holiday off. It's always, you think you've got to catch up, try and get your money and long jobs or short jobs that's what the it was this week because tuesday i did two jobs uh quite a good distance bedford to reading which i to be honest i didn't think i'd get because i was a fair way from bedded bedford and i just put on the notes coming from northampton 25 miles and i still got it fair enough and then i got a job from reading to chesterfield which was a really good job, uh, and I got it quite quick. Reading sometimes can be a bit hit and miss, but it was fine. And I literally um, got the job within 10 minutes of being at Reading. Made it a good day. I started at 8.30. Yeah, I finished at half six. So I did 10 hours, but I went over target. <clears throat> My target's £200 a day. That's the pretty much the minimum I try to take, but... I average out over a week a thousand, as you know, and I had to come back from Chesterfield because I've got a job. Uh, I've got a pick up at Northampton at six o'clock, so I was going to tramp because the weather this week has been really, you know, mild. But couldn't tramp because I've got to pick the job up. So I drove back dead miles, which is not ideal. But I'd got the job going to Birmingham at a really good rate on the Wednesday, so. What happened Wednesday was, <clears throat> it went mad. It just went mad Wednesday for me. Um, obviously, I did two long jobs Tuesday. Wednesday, I ended up doing five jobs. And the price for the jobs was, first job was £60, second job was 65 third job was 63 fourth job was 40 quid, and the fifth job was 40 quid. It made me £268. Yes, I did work 11 hours for that. But there were five. Well, I wouldn't say minimum charge. The last two were sort of minimum charge. But I was they was I was quoting over £2 a mile. The last job, it, it took me from Banbury to Chipping Norton, which is not ideal. 17 miles, 40 quid. So it, it was a, a full-on day. <clears throat> full-on day. I flip flops. I went to Birmingham. I went from Birmingham to Milton Keynes. Milton Keynes. I went down to Swindon. Swindon. I went back to Oxford, and then Ox, and then Banbury to Chippy Norton, and then I drove home from Chippy Norton, which is forty miles, forty-five miles. So a lot of dead miles, but I was at it. So doing short jobs. If you can get them, and I just had it. It's just luck. It's just luck. There's no skill. It's just luck. Jobs just seemed to be where I was. Another time I could sit for three hours in bloody Swindon. I've sat in Swindon for three hours before to, to get a job. And on Wednesday, I didn't even I, I didn't even have time. I, I was delivering and the job was come through to me in the next job. So, yeah, it's just the way it is. Thursday, <clears throat> I didn't have anything booked in. Um, and again, I ended up doing two longish jobs. Not... Not massive length. I did Northampton to Bath, and that went to the University of Bath. And if anyone's been, it is a massive university. And I've found out, I didn't know, it's not even in Bath. It's up the hill, massive hill, out of Bath. Got some facilities there, let me tell you. So we did that job, and got it delivered. And I did a booze run. There was Shepton Mallet to Farringdon, and it was baking up. I took 26 uh, cases of booze, absolutely fine, lovely pub I went to, country pub, and it was paid really good money because it's booze. You you know, as far as I know, if you could do alcohol, quote high, because you can have an handballing, and I did have handballing, but the cellar was right on the car park, I backed the van right up to it, and because it was hot, I went in this, just inside the cellar door, beautiful and cool, so it worked out better. And <clears throat> I'd already got a job, I had to get home Thursday for a job for Friday morning. I've got to pick it up Thursday night. It's the laptop. And I went to Fairham. But I knew I'd got that job. Um, 
three o'clock. So I knew I was, and I knew it was, a, it's, it's, it's always goes. It's not as if it's never going to be cancelled. And I managed to get a job on for the Friday from uh, Emsworth, which is about 14 miles from Fairham, going to Stamford. So I got Friday's work already and over target Friday. So I've got the job down to Fairham. And I knew I've done this job a lot of times. In fact, I'm doing it tomorrow. I'm doing Reading and Fairham with monitors. So I know where I'm going. And I know I'll get it delivered. It's, it's not as if there's no one going to be there. <clears throat> so Friday, it was already, I got the work. I started at 5.15. Because I've got to be in Fairham uh, for Upper State. And I was there quarter to eight. But I'd rather be there and wait. And I had a little stroll. Got myself a coffee and delivered it at 24 past 8 16 mile down the road nine o'clock pick up three boxes to stanford i was finished at uh, quarter past one and that was done finished i won't do it anymore i didn't even look at the feed uh until a lot later so i'm done that was my week happy happy with that again i did three days where i did just two jobs each day and they were one out one back and then on the Wednesday, I did five, which was flip-flopping you know, for Hampton in the middle. And it all worked out pretty similar. What do I prefer doing? I would probably prefer doing the longer stuff, which I've got tomorrow. Although it was quite refreshing doing five little jobs. And in them five jobs, every item was no bigger than a small shoebox. In fact, the biggest item I took was a laptop. That was pretty much the biggest item. I took microchips on one job. I took <clears throat> a small, an even smaller box on another job. I took two wheel bearings. That was the sort of work it was. So, all in all, a really good week. Uh, not going to lie. Uh, it was knackering. I just felt a bit knackered, actually. And I took, I did 1,340 miles. And that was 40 duty hours. So, it was average of a 10-hour day every day. 30 hours driving. So, it's seven and, seven and a half hours a day driving. And my money before VAT was 878, which works out 1,053. You give 10% to the flat rate scheme, and it comes out at 948.24 over four days. Really good, really good. It 237 quid a day. And that's, to me, that's good. I have, that's, let's have a quick look. I did 203 pound per day the week before. On the week before that, I did 203 again. Then the week before that, I had a mega week, that Scotland trip, and I did 242 a day. So I am in target. <coughs> but the four day weeks, obviously, you're losing a day. Uh, there is work. You know, there was a couple of jobs, but you're not getting home. So unless you've got a wait and return on bank holiday, it's not worth doing. The only thing I'd say is on a bank holiday, if there is a job, say, 100 miles you know what was your normally quote on you say 80 80 pence a mile so you just quote 160 or 100 you, instead of quoting 80 80 80 pence you quote you know if you want to do it for i don't know 70 pence a mile you quote 140 quid one pound 40 a mile and then you got your your money back that's what i'd do that i wouldn't just do it for petrol money especially on a bank holiday anyway <clears throat> that's it pretty much it Cracking guy on the Saints yesterday. That's why I'm feeling a little bit. I didn't, could do this. I've been fishing this morning with a grandson. Didn't catch hardly any, but had a great weekend. Uh, we're back on it again tomorrow. Like I say, I've got an early, early-ish start. It's going to be about well, a quarter to seven. Go to Reading. I know I can drop the monitor off. I know exactly where I'm going for, I don't know, quarter past, twenty past eight. And then down to Fairham for about 10 o'clock. And there's a really nice coffee shop right where I deliver. So good start to the week for me. <clears throat> and hopefully have a good week. Hope everyone's doing all right. Uh, I'm going to put a little plug for a good friend of mine. In fact, I'm going to plug for a couple of people. YouTubers that are active, what I call active, they put YouTube videos out weekly. Uh... There's James at Freddie Fletcher, 
he's a shipper and a driver so i suggest he's got he's got good uh, subscribership but i suggest if you haven't subscribed look at his videos he does it from both sides and it's informative there's my good friend dave at anvil logistics he's got a video he puts out weekly normally on a friday he's uh, got a crafter and they're in manchester and he puts a really good video out and there's this is the one you could really subscribe to and help is neil at neptune couriers so if you put neptune couriers in it's neil and he's in scotland he's in let me get this right now he's the he's on the west side of scotland he's about an hour south of glasgow on the west not on the coast but not far from the coast he puts a lot of small videos out very informative videos neil and he's asked me could i plug it because he's almost got a thousand subscribers and he'd like to get over the thousand so he's promised me he'd buy me a coffee as well if i gets over a thousand so for god's sake if a scotsman's going to buy me a coffee go onto his channel and push that subscribe button it don't cost you anything and it gets the saints man a free coffee so make sure anvil logistics is over a thousand well over a thousand he's way up james at freddie fletcher he's well over a thousand i'm a thousand one hundred and some up and neil is i think 950 so another 50 people say it's man's for a free coffee come on guys neptune couriers anyway <clears throat> hope you can hear this all right here's a little bit of wind i'm on our decking and just chilling now it's been beautiful hot it's gonna have some rain next week temperature's gonna drop back down but hope you make money any questions answer i'll answer for you the trusted thing i'm still wondering how i'm going to put this right it without upsetting or giving an opinion that people don't like it's just up in the air to me um yeah we'll see but just keep going keep wheels turning and hopefully i don't know whether you guys on here do short jobs all the while or do long jobs or in an area where you've got to do a long job because there's no work around you or you can't get back but anyway waffled on don't forget freddie fletcher animal logistics but most of all neptune couriers neil if you get your thousand large cappuccino thank you very much speak next week guys